Recruitment is not all about sourcing, screening and submitting the resume but it's very important to learn about few email clients like Outlook. Hi everyone, my name is Arun from usitrecruit.com. Today we are going to learn about important aspects of Outlook and every recruiter to learn and implement in their day-to-day -day life. So before getting started, a quick request is that if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe and hit on that subscribe button and activate the bell icon which is next to the subscribe. So let's get started. This is the uh, overview of Outlook 2013 as I'm using Outlook 2013. But if even if you're using the other versions of Outlook like 2016, the process and the procedure which I am going to explain in this video are very similar don't get confused so let's see on how to set up the first thing how to set up a rule in outlook uh, before setting up a rule let's know what is a rule and what what is a useful thing uh, of this rule for a recruiter and how to set up this rule further so what is a rule a rule is an outlook uh, microsoft outlook is a set of actions that Outlook performs automatically when certain conditions are met. Let's see how what are those conditions and how we can able to configure that rule. And before that, and what why is this useful for recruiters? Because as a recruiter, our inbox must be flooded with lots of emails in a day. So it seems to be overwhelming and you may even not be um, responding to an imp important message of your um, or from your team lead or an account manager so because you didn't notice it in this all the clutter in your inbox so by using ms outlook rules we can able to configure that each and every email into a separate folder whenever someone sends you an email that will be automatically uh, sent to that particular folder that is known as a rule so let's see how we can able to set up a rule and see out the email from hello at gem.com i want to set up a rule for this email so if you want to set up just right click on this email and go to <clears throat> and select rules from this and click on create rule as you can see this is the um, pop-up you can able to see it and these are the conditions when I get an email with all of the selected conditions first select from your friends of a gem as this is the subject line or the uh, the pre subject of this email and what you want to do whenever this condition met what is the thing the email should be doing Move. I want to move this particular email to a particular folder then I don't have a particular folder so just select this and if you don't have a particular folder or a new folder just click on new and create a new folder here let's create a new folder called Jack and click on ok then click on ok as gem is selected again you need to click on ok and it will ask you the rule your gem your friends at gem has been created run this rule on the message already in the current folder means there are so many emails which are coming from hello at gem.com so it is asking us to run this uh, rule applied rule for already existing emails tick this box and click on ok <clears throat> just wait for as you can see seconds. here all the emails uh, which we have uh, transferred from by using that rule uh, it has been transferred to this particular folder so whenever I get an email from hello at gem.com it will be automatically dropped into this folder such that I can easily find uh, that emails and I can even respond to that email this is the use of uh, rules for uh, each and every recruiter so every recruiter has to create rules for your account manager emails and the team lead emails such that you can able to respond quickly and find their emails in your outlook 
Second important aspect for a recruiter with Outlook is to create and send calendar invites. So why this is useful for a recruiter? Because it might be uh, your manager might be asked you to schedule a meeting with your teammates or you might uh, ask you to send an interview schedule to your consultants in the coming days whenever you get an interview schedule your consultant get an interview schedule from the clients and your manager will ask you to send a calendar invite or a meeting schedule to the consultant with the particular times so in order to do all those things we need to learn or how to schedule a calendar invite or how to send an invitation to the consultants or your team leads in a particular time frame so in order to do that we need to just click on the new items at the top left corner as you can see and click on meeting option and this uh, booms up with a new email there where you can able to give the uh, receivers email address and where you can able to give the subject line of the email and you can also give the location of where this interview or where this meeting is uh, going to schedule or going to happen and you can able to give the start date and the end date this is the main important of this meeting and and mostly all the recruiters or all the people who are using outlook will be confused at this uh, timings but basically this is depends on the time zones so if you if you don't know in what time zone this time is in then click you can able to see this button called time zones click on this time zones and you can able to see that this is an eastern time zone est just fix just give your time and as this is in the 24 hour time frame and you can schedule it and if you want to uh, change the time zone click on this and you can able to give the whatever time zone in this uh, space you can able to write an email so this is a very useful option by outlook for every recruiter needs to learn and they need to implement in their day-to-day -day life the third important thing each recruiter needs to know on how to set up an email signature for outlook so in order to do that we need to just open up a new email by clicking on this new email or you can able to use the shortcut control n and which opens up a new email and to set up this email signature we need to click on this signature and click on the signatures again as you can see the pop-up saying that there is no emails in order to create one click on the new and give any type of name uh, let's uh, give it my name as well click on ok and and you can give your signature here like thanks and regards Arun Kumar. next you need to click on save button which saves up this signature and one more thing is that if you you can also configure this email signature to new messages and replies and forwards whenever you are uh, trying to uh, create a new email uh, you will get this signature but whenever you replies or forwards any of the emails you won't get any of this uh, the uh, newly created email or the signature so if you want to configure just click on this and select this Arun and click on OK coming to the last uh, aspect which a recruiter needs to know uh, is that to attach files on how to attach files in a new email so in order to do that uh, anyways we will open a new email by clicking on the new email button and there are two ways to attach files in a new email by just going on to insert and clicking on attach file and this is this opens up your uh, desktop or any of the drives which you are in <clears throat> suppose uh, let's select any you want to insert then click on 
enter Hope it will be like this video if you have liked this video please just consider subscribing and hit on that bell icon whenever i release a video on this channel you will get notified thank you so much for watching